Hi, hey, it's Chuck. Just wondering, are you a serial procrastinator? You think you might be? You're not sure? Well, stay tuned. Hi, everybody. Hey, uh, it's another great day. This is Chuck Arthurs uh, coming to you from uh, Can Am Social Media Marketing. Uh, in this episode, uh, whether you're listening to our podcast or viewing our video channel, we'll be talking about procrastination. Uh, what it is and how to eliminate it from your life. Procrastination is the avoidance of doing a task that needs to be accomplished by a certain deadline or a certain date. Uh, it's the habitual or intentional delay of starting uh, a project or a job. Uh, and that could have negative consequences if it's not completed, but it could also have um, beneficial effects, uh, you know, if it's completed online or otherwise. Trying to study for an exam or, you know, trying to complete a project on time. Uh, with those situations, the procrastination might be your enemy. You know, are you a serial procrastinator? Do you sometimes feel that you need to work on other things that have a more um, immediate finish line? You know, just insert those other little projects in. Do you put things off? And have you ever sat down uh, to get the job started and the phone rings or, or something happens. Uh, you know, you check your email first or like I said, you insert those small little jobs that you think you need your attention just a little bit more. Uh, sometimes it may seem like there's a better time to get started. You know, maybe first thing tomorrow or, or the day after or maybe the day after that. You know, what you need to do is eliminate distractions from your lifestyle as much as possible. Most tasks are never really as difficult or as painful as you make them out to be. In fact, uh, you uh, once you get started, uh, you may build momentum and find that you don't want to stop what you're doing. When you get focused on the job, uh, the job at hand, you know things may very well start to flow, and you just might surprise yourself. There's two main kinds of procrastination. You know those with a deadline, uh, where the axe falls if you don't complete it, and you know that's it. Uh, then there's those with no deadline, and this can be the worst type, um, you know, leaving you with regret of watching your life go by while you look at lost opportunities that may never come back because you didn't do what you needed to do. You know, have you ever heard of Murphy's Law? You know, everything that can go, can go wrong will go wrong. Uh, well, you know, everything that can uh, slow down you from slow you down from uh, compete, competing your job is just like that. You know, it, if it can go wrong, it's going to slow you down. You know, there's there's another law, and it's called Parkinson's law, and it's work expands to fit the time allotted to it. You know, don't allow um, allocate three hours uh, to complete a 30-minute job, or it's going to take the three hours. It's extremely unlikely that uh, you have a, a Twitter or a Facebook post or an email that can't wait until you've finished your 45-minute uh, job. You know, causes of procrastination, uh, lack of motivation for one. You know, focus on a dream or goal you want to achieve and focus on how achieving that goal uh, can help you complete your current task. You know, maybe low self-esteem or uh, um, uh, low confidence, uh, fear of embarrassment. One week, one week before the uh, start of this video, uh, I broke a front tooth. <laughs> <laughs> and I was really seriously thinking about not getting this video done on, on time. Uh, now, um, as it stands now, it's been put off for uh, a month with the, the new virus scare that is here right now. And it's a very legitimate scare, but it'll be one month before I can get that completed. And I wanted to make sure that I was able to get the information off to you, uh, available to you today. But the cause for procrastination is fear of failure. Maybe you just haven't been successful in your past past with this task. You know, and check out YouTube or research what you need to know. Um, people learn from their mistakes, but you can make a healthy fortune based on learning from somebody else's mistakes. You know, maybe, maybe it's just a, a lack of understanding and causing your procrastination. You're not sure what to do, um, you know, with any project or task that you need information on. YouTube is an endless an endless resource uh, with everything that you need to know to get the job done. And, you know, if you can't find it there, ask for help uh, or find a, special, um, a specialist. Uh, perfectionism, uh, or I should say, 
uh, excessive uh, perfectionism uh, is a major cause. You know, wanting to get everything right, uh, ha having paid too much attention to, to detail. Most things don't need to be perfect. They, they just need to be completed on time and, and working properly. You know, maybe you got low energy levels. Um, maybe you just need to get some, some exercise, some sleep, change your diet. You know, are you having trouble concentrating? You know, are you getting distracted? Uh, have you ever gone to a webinar and the first thing they say is turn off all distractions, uh, email, text message, social media, Facebook, the whole works. Uh, you want to create a work environment that minimizes your distractions. You know, turn off Facebook, Twitter, and email. Uh, allow your calls to go to voicemail, or better yet, put your plane on, uh, not your plane, put your phone on uh, airplane mode, uh, airplane mode, and minimize your distractions. Consider, consider working full screen on your computer uh, when you're working on the job, uh, just to eliminate other distractions that are around the screen, or, you know, uh, take the post-it notes off your screen. <laughs> Maybe you just need to close the door to distractions uh, or change your environment or, or try working in a coffee shop. You know. Another cause of procrastination is law, uh, lack of focus, um, poor organization skills. What you want to do is set clear and realistic goals, break up your job into smaller parts, and hey, use a planner and actually write in it, you know, that works very, very well. Years ago, I heard a story about uh, a farmer's field. There were two men, and they were told to cross the field uh, in, a, in a perfectly straight line, and the, the first man basically went and put one foot in front of the other, and just sort of balanced and was aiming for the other side and trying to get that line perfectly straight. Uh, the other one uh, picked a tree on the far side of the field and ran straight to it. Uh, knowing where you want to go and how to get there. Uh, that's what's really important is for you to achieve your goals, you need to know where you're going to go and uh, essentially the best way to get there and the quickest way. What you want to do is plan your goals, you know, go for the next field and the next field and the next field, track your progress. Uh, you know, tracking your progress is just so, so important. Maybe you need to make another line. Uh, but anyhow, track your progress and see what happens. Enjoy working on your task. You know, the reward, reward you need to give yourself a reward. In, enjoy working on your task and re reward yourself after completion. Remember, planning to do something isn't the same as doing it. The fastest path for the men in the field was to run in a straight line right to that tree. Pick your target and run to it. Remember, you have to start your engine to get your car out of the driveway. It's just, <laughs> it's that simple. Preparation will save you a lot of wrong turns. You want to be prepared. And turn off your phone. <laughs> Anyhow, just a reminder, at some point, just think, I need to get this done. Just go out and do it and uh, enjoy the, the journey while you're doing it. Have a great day. Hey, I'm back. Uh, I'm Chuck Arthurs, and uh, I just wanna thank you for listening or watching to this episode. I hope that this has episodes uh, helped you out in some way, informed you a little bit, or maybe even entertained you a little. If you like what you heard or saw, don't forget to uh, follow or sub subscribe to us. Uh, so go ahead and uh, click on the button or the link below this uh, this video to subscribe. Uh, if you'd like to be notified of uh, new uh, episode releases as as they're as they're made and released, uh, don't forget to click on the little bell icon beside the sub subscribe button after you subscribe. Uh, we're going to strive to provide you with a variety of subjects uh, and uh, tips. Uh, in the upcoming episodes to make your lives a little bit e easier online and offline. And to further connect with us, uh, you want to go to our blog at canamsocialmediamarketing.com or for a short version, uh, canam-smm.com. A little bit less typing there. Anyhow, uh, have a great day. I'm Chuck Arthurs, signing off for the day. Uh, you have an absolutely incredible day, and we'll, we'll catch you later, guys. Talk to you soon.